God. Uh, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Masingita Paul Nguna. I'm from Madame Lele. Uh, the reason why, the reason that brought me here to Charis today was uh, first of all was to ask for God's word about my life. Uh, at times one needs to understand where he or she comes from to know better of where you, you're going and where you stand in life with God. And it was all brought to light to me today. So I thank God. I started knowing uh, Charles TV through television and through friends. Uh, you know, having friends who love the word of God, it's easy to identify which one goes to which church and all that. So yeah, I knew Charles through through friends, they enjoy it. Uh, today I got a chance to meet with the prophet, uh, the man of God, and he prophesied to me. And I want to confirm that all the prophecies that were told to me, actually he told me four things. I want to confirm them to be true. And I thank God for, for giving me such an opportunity. The first uh, prophecy that he gave was regarding my parents, uh, the separation of my parents. Uh, I remember it being a first time to see the man of God, the prophet, one-on-one, -on -one, means he doesn't know anything about me or where I come from or the family. So I was shocked to hear him talk about uh, my parents' separation. So yes, I do confirm that my parents are separated. They have been actually they, they got separated when I was about nine years. However, we, we still a close family. So I do confirm the, the prophecy to be true. The second prophecy was about my job. He said I'm not happy where I'm working. I confirmed that to be true. Actually I I was never happy with this job, even from the first place when I got it. Reason being that it was taking me away from where, from the church that I called home. It took me away from the pastor that helped or assisted in making me who I was becoming or who I am today in, in terms of living for God. So, even now, I'm still not happy. I wish I could maybe have something like a business, you not know, to, to be a worker, and for, so that can I can have a lot of time to to do God's work. Cause working just just taking all all the time away from taking my time away from God. So I do confirm that the the prophecy is true. I'm not happy where I'm working. The third prophecy was about a spirit hovering over my, my kids and my marriage. Uh, first spirit was a spirit of death. I do confirm that uh, my first daughter uh, died in 2017. She was nine years old. Uh, I won't give much information on how she, she went on, but I do confirm the prophecy to be true. And about my marriage, is, uh, he said we, my wife and I are always having arguments, and unnecessary arguments. I, I do confirm the words to be, pro, to, to be true. Even this morning, we, we had an argument. Uh, so I do confirm the prophecy to, to be true. Uh, after seeing the servant of God, I feel released in this way like it's like i had i had something heavy on me now i feel i feel light i feel released and empowered to continue serving uh, god and doing his his work to those who who do not entirely believe that god sees his or her heart. I'm saying to you, find the right church, 
or you can come and see the man of God, the prophet here at Charis, and hear the word of God concerning your life as well. Because I got help today, and this will encourage me to continue working for God, for I know who God is to me, and I know who, where I stand with Him now. So. My own people, don't keep. The God was trying to remind me that if, if, if you forget you are poor, you forget because now money has come, you forget you will die. That's what God was trying to do. I'm also telling you the same thing. Your husband was saving God nicely. Nicely, brother. And because of this car. Let's not lose our lives because of the things we do. Tell your things. Have you served God so much with all of your heart? Now it's more blessed. There's more that God wants to give you. So much. There's more. God wants to give both of you. Amen. I was telling you, I, I want God to give you peace. And I want you to forgive this past. Forget your pin number of the bank. You're going to enjoy life. Because to me, God comes first. Amen. Nothing, nothing. Don't tell me about anything. Because I have seen everything. You understand? Mm -hmm. God must always come first. And sometimes we delay our blessings because the small thing that we have, we start to worship it. Small thing. You see, you are driving Golf 7, that's Golf 8. You see, those that are buying Golf 8 now, next year there will be Golf 9. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, God is showing you that, uh, in fact, uh, you cannot finish anything. Amen. So, put me first, and the rest will be this. Come on, Lord. You must not worry about the death of your child. God will bless you. Jesus. A very good man and very good man.
Jesus, I pray. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay.